Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of some of the things that have been piling up around my house, and also an announcement for some things upcoming on this channel. So let's get started. Before I get to my big announcement, uh, I'm going to kind of let you know what I have here to open. I have two of the three Halloween boxes that I ordered. And I will say after I kind of read online about some people having issues not actually getting what they ordered, I did pop those boxes open. I haven't looked to see which models I got, but I will note that my box that I ordered for me does have the classic and two of the spooky stable mate blind bags. But the box <laughs> that mom ordered has a lot of packing and one stable mate. So I'm gonna have to call Briar about that, uh, decide if I want him to try and ship me a second one or if I want to just get a refund. Um, but I did order two and paid for two and only got one, so that's exciting. Um, Briar's customer service is usually pretty good about that, so I'm not worried, but just means I don't have as much to show you today. I also have three uh, Johans, the Lip is Honor Gambler's Choice. Uh, came in four separate colors. I have three boxes here, um, so hopefully I'll get a mix. I will say I haven't, of all the boxes that I haven't slit open, I left this one. This is Mom's box. And as you can see, UPS decided to murder it badly. So I left that one sealed. I'm going to open that on camera. We're going to hope that the horse is okay. I also have a giant box here for the Mystery Collectors Club uh, appreciation thing they did that was kind of a repeat of the last couple. I wound up ordering because I really wanted the Christmas horse and two or three things anyway. So I figured I'd just go ahead and get that and then get the Collectors Club model, the Glossy, uh, along with it. So I'm kind of hoping I get one of the uh, 50th anniversary horses since I don't have many of those in shiny. And then I do have a box here that is not from Briar. This is from um, Studio Thorn Rose. It is a medallion. It is Narissa, and I'm very excited to see it. I haven't opened it. So let's get started with opening things that need to be opened and I'll tell you what the announcement is. I'm going to start the opening with Tabitha since we have seen pictures of her and I'm not going to be able to keep it quiet any longer. The big surprise is that in a few weeks my mom and I are going to be going to West Palm Beach, Florida for ponies and palm trees. We are so, so excited. As a matter of fact, as soon as I got drawn way back in the very first round of drawing, um, and I was so excited that I called mom in the middle of the work day. She and I are both screaming on the phone. It was great. So we are thrilled. And here's Tabitha. She's very pretty. So anyway, we are thrilled. Very, very excited. Um, I'm going to try and do what I can to do some Briar Fest blog style uh, videos while I am down there. Um, we're going to a lot of different places and we are going to spend a lot of time on a bus. So hopefully <laughs> all of that will work out and I won't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead it. and move on from Tabitha to the Spooky Stable Meats. These are the two that were in my bag. They're with Tabitha. There are three different ones. I really just want one of each. Uh, so let's see what I've got to get started. And that looks like a chunky pony. It is. It's the little ghosty pony. So that's very nice. And that's one. Here is the second one. And hopefully it's just something different, something different. It is something different. Look at that. That's the little, I don't remember this horse's name off the bat, but isn't he cute? All the cats. I love it. Okay. So since we've started, I started with these spooky stable mates. I'm going to go ahead and open the, the one, <laughs> the one that was in the box that they sent to mom. We'll see what it is. Hopefully it's all three of them. That would be amazing. I don't think it is uh, the different one. I think I'm feeling the package and I think this is a chunky pony, but that's okay. It is. It is the chunky boy. 
I had to do a little bit of box shifting so I had plenty of room to open up everything else. Um, what I have here is my giant Collector's Club Appreciation Box. I'm a little nervous. I do know what I ordered to make up the 125, 150, whatever we had to spend. Um, but I also heard that there were a few people who followed the instructions, added the horse, did the code, and didn't get a glossy. So <laughs> my big hope, uh, first thing is that there is a glossy appreciation horse in this box. And secondly, that, you know, the one I get is something shiny and, and pretty that I'd like to keep. So, of course, to, it wouldn't be a Briar unboxing video without miles, absolute miles of brown paper. Khaleesi was in here with me for a little bit, and I'm pretty sure the paper just sent her scrambling. So, <laughs> we're going to go with this. All right, I have my packing list. Let's see. This isn't looking promising because it does not have the glossy on the packing list. So let's see here. First up, I have the advent calendar. You'll probably see that in another video closer to Christmas. Um, but I really did want to get one. Yeah, there's no glossy in here. No, not, not at all. Is there a glossy in that box? Okay, fun. So I'm going to be making a couple of calls to Briar. But I did get Snowbird, who's very pretty. I'm not one that collects all of the Christmas horses, but I really like that mold, so I wanted to get my hands on one. Same thing with this. I have a Get Rowdy, because I do absolutely love this Bristol mold. And to round off the pricing, I got two mystery stable mates. So pardon the giant box moving, because it's in the way. Um, Oh, Khaleesi was hiding behind the box, so she's she's still here. She didn't run. So let's see if I got any chases or anything fun here. Um, like I said, these were just to kind of round out the, the price point. There's the chestnut quarter horse. It's very pretty. I do have a couple of those, but that's all right. They wind up making excellent uh, custom fodder. So we'll see what else is in here. And it is... Oh. <laughs> another chestnut quarter horse. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and open next the um, Studio Thorn Rose box, uh, mainly because I'm just very excited to see this horse and also because I'm still a little concerned about the Johan. So let's start here. First off, I love her business card. Like, you're not going to be able to read the back of it because I've got the inverted, but isn't that gorgeous? There's a lovely thank you card. And a sticker, it says release the Kraken if the backwards reading isn't useful. There's also a billion of these like puffy packing phone, uh, peanuts, which because I'm clumsy and I have a cat, I'll probably be finding all over my house for the next year. Um, and there's a package in here and I'm just making sure that it's just foam under there. So this is, this is an absolutely massive box. Um, you can kind of see there. And this is what was in it. Um, <clears throat> if any of you were at Briarfest and got to see the actual Narissa, Scott, the Kimosabi custom in person, it's phenomenal. And I'm very excited to get the medallion version. Um, there's another sticker. Now this is Narissa, and this is, okay, this is one of her information packets about it. Oh, and it's even hooked up so you can hang it. That's really cool. I appreciate that kind of thing. Um, see, it's got the picture hanging bit on the back. But look how gorgeous. I know it's unpainted, and that's a lot of white on the screen, but it is stunning. It's heavy, so I'm looking forward to either painting this or more likely finding someone to paint it for me. All right, last three. I have the Johans, the two that look like they're in pretty good shape. This one's a little dented, but nothing bad. And then the, um, the what I hope is a, a Johan all in one piece. I went ahead and opened the tape parts of these. So here's the first one. These came in um, four different colors. There's a Glossy Bay, Glossy Palomino, a Bay Pinto, and an Appaloosa. 
I really like how all of them look. I think the Appaloosa is probably my least favorite and the Dark Bay is my favorite. So I'm hoping to get a combination there that includes that Glossy Bay. So here's this one. I can kind of see through the packaging. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but since the tape doesn't want to come off, there we go. Yes, it is just what I thought. It is the Bay Pinto, which I believe is second only to the uh, Bay from what I've seen online. Uh, some of the other pictures people have posted. He is lovely. Look at that shine. Okay. Tail and head covering released. There he is. Oh, look at all that pinking under his neck. Oh, he's really pretty. Okay. Well, there's one. I'm very excited. I'm, that was one of the colors I was hoping I'd get my hands on. So here's number two. And okay, he's definitely a Palomino. That one is pretty easy to see through the packaging. So that's very exciting too. He's really got a creamy color to him. He's also covered in tape, just like everything else. So that's fun. Very shiny pony, which is, you know, my favorite. There he is. So, okay, I have two different colors, which really is better odds than I tend to hit on uh, the blind bag situation. But now it is time to open, well, what's hopefully, I don't even care what color, hopefully it's just not broken. So I've got my, I don't actually have my knife today, I have a letter opener. And we're gonna see if I can make that work. Okay, so the box is slit there. And as best I can down the side. So I don't hear rattling, but there's also, you know, a lot of bubble wrap. I mean, this box is just trash. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it's a Pinto. That's pretty easy to see. But is it intact? Um, I don't feel anything running loose, but I also can't see the whole horse yet okay well he appears to have four legs but let's get him out for sure okay four legs unbroken tail intact all right guys we think it's got two ears like it's supposed to have Oh, look at that. Okay, so he's all in one piece. That's excellent. That's way better than I expected coming from this nightmare. Uh, so so that's, that's fantastic. So this came out of here. Um, that's, that's points for Briar's packing and um, negative points for UPS, I think is how that works. Not that the points matter, but... <laughs> All right, so I have two Pintos and a Palomino. That's just fine. I'll be able to do some swapping around and get the ones I need. Same thing with the spooky stable mates. I'll make a couple calls to Briar about the missing items from my order, but that is something I'm not worried about getting rectified. I will see you all very soon. Make sure that you subscribe and... Uh, Keep, keep in touch. You can catch me here or on Instagram. That way you'll know what's going on at Ponies and Palm Trees. I will probably do kind of like I did at Briarfest and post uh, more pictures and short videos throughout the day on Instagram and then kind of try and wrap everything up at night um, with kind of a, a wrap up of what's gone on. I will try and let you know as soon as I can what the stable mate is, what the special runs are, the raffle models, anything else that Briar throws at us on this trip. I've got to say I'm really excited to watch some polo and spend a weekend surrounded by other wonderful Briar collectors and of course my mom. So we're going to have an excellent time and I hope you guys will join me. Um, comment below which color Johan is your favorite. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Did you not like that mean old paper? No, you didn't. Okay, I sorry, baby. You want to say bye? Do you want to say bye? Say bye. <laughs>